Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. Now, Hardy mentioned to have a pen and paper ready. And I think uh, that will be something I would recommend that we do here. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to base this meditation on uh, five point Vajra. You can see there are four branches, and this represents the mandala of the Toshindo belts. This is earth, and this is wind. I'm doing this backwards, fire and water, and in the middle is the void. And uh, we can see those uh, earth and wind opposite each other because they complement each other and fire and water complement each other. And of course, in the middle is the source element. So we'll be modeling it after this five point Vajra. And uh, the other thing that's true is uh, this is going to be kind of a long meditation because uh, we're going to cover five different thought processes and we're going to look at a negative and a positive. Uh, so actually 10 mental processes we're going to do in this meditation. So that's a long time to maintain a meditation and you can get so into it that you kind of forget what processes you went through in the beginning. So that's where the paper and pen will come in. What we're going to do is we're going to get into a meditative state and then we'll, I'll guide you through. And uh, I think the best thing to do is just see what pops into mind. You may have three or four different ideas, but which one really captures your imagination right here today. Um, that's what's important. What captures your imagination right here today? Don't spend a lot of intellectual time thinking what's the best answer. Uh, just go with what comes to you. Um, it may seem silly. It may even seem a little trivial, but there's perhaps something hidden deeper in there. We're not going to have an opportunity today to go into this deeper level investigation. And, you know, we got like 50 some people on here uh, and then others will watch this at a later time. Um, we don't have the ability to uh, interact with each one of you. So watch for even an insignificant idea. There may be something deeper uh, that you would uh, want to go and, uh, and, and look at there. Uh, we'll get into meditative state. I'll have you process two different meditations and then maintaining that meditative state kind of come out and write down this one impression, one impression that you have, and that'll just stay there and, and, and use as few words as possible. Uh, have this condensed down to as few words as possible, maybe even one word, uh, two or three words uh, that will trigger this memory. And we'll go through uh, all five of these uh, elements of meditation. So is everybody ready to try this out? <laughs> okay. Take those partiers last night. Maybe you were partying with your significant other. Uh, not much for parties uh, this year, I guess, if you were following the government mandates. Um, so take a deep breath in and breathe out. And just feel yourself come alive. Feel yourself come alive. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And just maybe put your butt way back in the chair and uh, have your back up straight. The top of your uh, chair may not even touch your back. You're using your bones and muscles to hold yourself up straight. And that's kind of the old normal posture for a ruler. Uh, they'd have a, it's like a little cushion on the tatami uh, and they would sit upright. And ironically, uh, the penniless, homeless spiritual seeker 
I had the same thing, a little rag on the ground maybe, and just would sit upright. So whether you're a world leader, a chakra vartin, a chakra vartin, a big wheel, or a uh, uh, homeless spiritual seeker, this is a similar, uh, similar posture. Uh, so with your body in this shape, Take a deep breath in and close your eyes. Just allow your eyes to close. And watch the breath come in and out. Watch the breath uh, come in and out. Yeah. And uh, watch the in-breath pull energy into your body. You're more awake and alert and alive. You're more present. Oh, and this first hours, first hours of uh, 2021, you're more alive than ever, more alive than ever. And enjoy that feeling. What a year of potential. What a year of possibilities. We're leaving maybe a little bit of fear from the past year, a little bit of uncertainty, um, maybe even a little suspicion, something bigger going on that uh, we're not being informed of or unrest, just a general unrest. Did I take full advantage of this past year or did I not? So this is a new year, full. First, take a deep breath in and I'm feeling the energy lift my spine, send the top of my head to the ceiling. Imagine that. And breathing out. I settle my weight in my hips. My spine is still fully extended, but I settle my weight in my hips. And I enjoy that feeling too. A polarity of reaching for the heavens, inspiration, and breathing out and settling in toward Mother Earth. A conviction, a conviction. Inspiration as we breathe in. <sighs> and a conviction as we breathe out. And just see what comes to mind when we look at this first element. We'll pick the earth element to start with. Earth element. Just see what comes to mind when you reflect back on the past year. Reflect back on the past year. What insights, what practices, what knowledge, what lessons did you learn in regard to this earth element, which relates to the seat of our pants, the seat of our pants, uh, just plain security. That's one of the five elements, security. Maybe it's financial security. Maybe you learned something in 2020 about financial security, and it may not have been a positive lesson. You may think of it as a negative lesson or physical security in your home or in your community, personal security uh, in terms of your own safety and well-being in a, in a kind of wild year, um, long-term security richness associated with security. So see what comes to mind when you look back on 2020, what's one minor or major, what's one lesson you learned, value you got, inspiration you gained, knowledge learned about your own economic or physical or personal security.
And again, it may not be a positive. Maybe you think of it as negative. And in future meditations, you can figure out how it works as a positive. Just be very honest. What's one insight you got about physical security? And the second part of the meditation, just kind of let that go. In a moment, you're going to write it down. You're going to ease your eyes open, sneak your eyes open and just write the impression down. But let's do the other half of the meditation, earth element, earth element. For 2021, the next year, the year we've already into a few hours, we are already into it a few hours. What is one improvement that you plan and make a commitment to acting out could be economic security i'm going to save 10 percent of what i earn no matter what i earn or it could be a physical security i'm going to replace all my broken crumbly locks in my house it could be a personal security I'm going to uh, lose 12 pounds. Uh, I'm going to work out. Uh, I'm going to uh, vary the way that I travel so I'm less predictable. Um, I'm going to just figure something out that would have to do with your own security. And that at the end of the year, once you've committed to this and made this possible, you would feel more secure, more secure. Take a moment and just see what's the first thing. It might be something totally insignificant. I'm gonna get a doorbell camera. It might be major. I'm gonna invest in a reliable automobile with four-wheel drive in case floods happen or what's one improvement you're going to do and now make a note of that and ease your eyes open ease your eyes open and just write down those two impressions something you learned in 2000 20 and something you're going to plan to do in 2021. Now maintain that meditative awareness. Just open your eyes and write that down. Now, at the end of this session, we may compare notes. We may compare notes. If you're feeling, you know, brave enough to say yours out loud, you're not expected to, but you might say yours out loud. You got those both written down. You have those both written down. Let's go back deeper into meditative awareness. So straighten your back up again and flatten the back of your neck. Take a deep breath in and feel your spine expand. Reach for the ceiling. And as you breathe out, feel your energy naturally and delightfully moving down to your hips. Commitment and inspiration. Inspiration and commitment. Let's look at the second element. The second of the five elements. Water. Water. And that would be what have you learned in 2020? 
What did you gain insight into? What's one even tiny thing you learned? You gained knowledge of. You're a little more confident now. Water. And that represents personal growth and knowledge. Personal growth and knowledge. What's something you learned in 2020? Maybe you didn't know in 2019. You know yourself a little better. And again, this could even be something you would consider negative, but it's something valuable. What's something you've learned about the world, how the world works, how people work? It might be something to do with your job, your occupation a little more clarity, a little, maybe a breakthrough in accomplishing more using less time. Maybe it was something to do with human nature. People say what they want you to believe they mean, but they may not always believe it themselves. Maybe it's sort of a negative thing, but you know that more. Oh, I judge people based on my own behavior. For me, this is right and beautiful and powerful. And I expect everyone to operate the same way. And ah, they don't. <laughs> they don't. Maybe it's some clarity about your own purpose in life. My purpose in life. I gained knowledge in 2020. Take a few moments and just think about that. Just see what drifts into mind. It may be something very small or insignificant. Take a moment. And let's do the other half of this exercise. Take a breath in and hold it for a second, blow it out. <sighs> Settle yourself into your seat. And think about a commitment that you're going to make for 2021. 2021. Some commitment. Here's what I'm going to do in terms of my own personal knowledge of how the world works. What comes to mind? I'm going to read things that maybe I wouldn't normally read. I'm going to cut out reading certain things that I was used to reading over the past years. I'm going to seek out knowledge holders. I'm going to look for mentors who know things that I don't know, but they can clearly demonstrate it in their own lives. Anyway, think of some goal that's doable, that's reachable, if you remember it if you remember it. And maintain your meditative awareness. Maintain meditative awareness, but ease your eyes open and jot down those two impressions on your piece of paper. Use as few words as possible. Jot down something you learned in 2020 about the world and how you fit into that world. Personal knowledge, world of the knowledge. 
and a commitment toward being more authentic, more true to yourself in a positive way. Okay, and uh, let's return to meditative awareness. We're about less than halfway through. So pull your shoulders back, feel your shoulders stretch back, activate your the muscles of your spine and shoulder, and then relax back into that very alert, dynamic position. Back is up straight. Back is up straight. You might want to tighten your abs a little bit just to make sure that the back is straight. And back of your neck is straight. Eyes are closed. Take a deep breath in. Feel your spine reach up and breathe down and out and you are in the middle reaching for the heavens reaching for mother earth and the human being is right in the middle we are a blend of heaven energy and physical material manifestation old japanese teaching ten chijin ten is heaven she is earth and Jin is the human being and human beings are very unique in that they embody heaven energy this grand potential moving towards perfection the universe wants us to succeed the universe wants us to succeed and then from the earth aspect what do we have to do what do we have to let go of what do we have to take on that brings us more into harmony in our results brings us more into harmony with the plan of what needs to be so we're breathing in and Fully enjoying that and breathing out, fully enjoying that. Back is straight. We're like a conduit, like a lightning rod on top of an old farmhouse. Hey, if any lightning's going to hit, boom, right here, right here. We are that alive. We are that vital. And let's look at the third element in our five element. practice fire fire has to do with relationships people so think back in uh, 2020 what's some insight what's a lesson you learned what's some knowledge you gained Maybe a new practice or returning to an old practice that you'd forgotten in regards to how you interact with other people. Maybe it was a year for a repledging of a primary relationship a very significant other. You learn something and you're brighter or you're smarter or, or possibly there's a negative lesson. Or maybe there was something to do with co-workers. Maybe people who worked for you or people that you worked for. You learn something, oh man, heartbreaking decisions that business owners had to make regarding people. Certainly that's a part of 2020. Maybe you were one of those decision makers. You had to make a heartbreaking 
choice. Maybe you found a way around making a heartbreaking choice. Or maybe it was just people in general, something you learned from being on social media or interacting through blogs. Think of something you learned in 2020. Take a moment, take a moment and come up with something you learned about a relationship how you relate to other people. What's something that's clearer to you now than it was a year ago? Okay, take a deep breath in. Let's do the second half of this meditation. Deep breath in, kind of let that thought go. Let that thought go. And breathe in and think of inspiration. And breathe out, think of your commitment. And think about 2021. What is something that you plan to change or increase, decrease, something to do with people. Now, maybe a primary relationship you're going to build, you're going to understand, you're going to communicate better, or maybe it's with coworkers, or maybe it's your community, or maybe some thing like a community action group or a church or synagogue or uh, uh, maybe some hobby, canoeing or bicycling or climbing rocks or something that you're going to do that you plan that will enhance your sense of working with other people. How do you relate to other people, what's one thing that you plan to do in 2021? Take a moment, think of that. And again, just could be something very simple, seemingly insignificant. Give that a few more seconds and then slowly open your eyes, sneak your eyes open and just jot down those two impressions, something that you gained knowledge of in 2020 regarding people, how to deal with people, how to better understand people, how to better trust people, <laughs> or not trust people and a plan for 2021, something you can do that will enhance your own sense of being in command or being in control of relationships. And take a moment to write those two down and we'll go back into our meditation. We've got two more elements to go. Back into our meditation. Got those written down? If you do, close your eyes. Straighten your back. Especially pay attention to the back of your neck. Pull the back of your neck back. That will lower your chin. And that's a good neutral determining posture 
between the inspiration of breathing in and filling your lungs and filling your whole torso, inspiration and breathing out, making a firm from the seat of your pants commitment. We did that earth element. We did a water element. That's from your gut, from your gut. You know what's true, even though you didn't read it or how did you know? But you know it was true. And then from the solar plexus, this fire element, a uh, sense of being in charge, gathering the troops, gathering your friends or those that you're related to or those that you work with. Fourth element is the wind and that's, it comes from the heart, it comes from the heart, wind. And that's the opposite of earth. Earth is figuring out your own security. How can you help in the world if you are run ragged? Oh, a few dollars short and live in an unsafe home where everything is unsure. No, you need personal security. And then way over on the other side of the mandala, the opposite of personal security is service. Service. We all at some point long to be a part of something that's bigger and more important than we are. We, we long for something worthy of us, something worthy of our service, something worthy of our commitment. Think about a military person dodging bullets and sleeping in the mud and eating little tin cans of food for not that much money. But the ability to serve, to do what maybe others would not be able to do, that's the payment. That's the value. So think back on 2020. What's something you learned about your role as a server? How did you interact with the community or with your family? Or maybe a special group. What is one thing you learned? One thing you gained knowledge about? One thing you're a little more knowledgeable now regarding serving an ideal. And again, it may not be a positive. You may not think of it as a positive, but something you learned. And just maybe pick the first thing that comes to mind or when you concentrate on the first thing, maybe another sneaks in. It doesn't have to be major. It could be a small insight. But you were paying attention. You got it. And take a deep breath in and let go of that. Let's do the other half of this wind meditation. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And what is one thing, even a small thing, that you can make a commitment to for 2021, a commitment will allow you to exercise your sense of 
being a participant. Hey, I'm a participant. I'm serving. That's one thing in 2021 that you can increase, even a small thing, even a small change in attitude or in actions. It's a small change. Maybe it's a big change. I vow, I make a commitment to bringing this change about. And it'll feel great. You will enjoy it. It'll give your life more meaning, your days more significant. And make a note of that because you'll write it down in a moment. Let's do the other. Part, ease your eyes open and just jot down those two impressions. Something you learned in 2020, something you are a little clearer about and something you made a commitment to in 2021. Maintain this meditative awareness, but uh, just jot it down. What's going to be different? Jot that down. We got one more element to go. One more element to go. Hmm. And close your eyes. We have the fifth element. Close your eyes, straighten your back, wiggle your shoulders around a little bit. This is a long meditation. It's exciting. Exciting to think, to develop, to devote this time, these few precious moments of 2021. You're devoting these few precious moments to understanding your own heart, you know, to understanding how you're making your way in this life. What are you doing in terms of personal security? So you don't have to like depend on other people. Other people don't have to like help you out all the time. Personal security, personal safety. And what are you doing about discovery? Maybe you know a person who does the opposite. They retreat into a shell and they haven't learned anything new since fourth grade. No, you're committed to learning and growing, even if it's painful. Even if we have to learn things we hope weren't true. And how do you relate to others? How do you relate to others? What lessons did you learn as a three-year-old that maybe it's time to let go of now? Uh, I know a better way of relating to other people and, and how can I serve? Maybe we think deep in our heart, we identify so much with childhood where moms and teachers and everybody served us. We, we've forgotten the power of our service. Other people are counting on us and we can be there for them. And the fifth element, the fifth element, the center, the void that really gives all. The other four elements, their, their piercing throughness that gives them a vitality 
that gives them their deeper meanings. Think back in 2020, what's a lesson you learned in terms of your own fulfillment, your own grander purpose for being a living being, a person breathing and moving about the planet. Could be something small, could be a major year for you. You know, we have peaks and valleys as we go through our life. One thing about significance, the significance of being alive and interacting and learning and What's one lesson you learned in 2020? See if you can reduce it down to a very few words. And the words may only make sense to you. And take a deep breath in and make a connection with your commitment ability. What's something in 2021 that excites you right now about more fully exploring and bringing into being your own sense of significance? meaning, purpose in life. Or it could be for a year I'm going to do this, and then in 2022 we'll change that, or it could be life-changing. It could be something small, it could be something very significant, but something that will give you more of a sense of purpose. I'm living my dream. I'm living my destiny. I'm living my purpose. And through living my purpose, I will serve the world. And through living my purpose, I will better understand and be of value to other people. Through living my purpose, I will gain knowledge and depth, understanding of who I am and how I relate to the world. And <clears throat> I will also be that much more secure, that much safer. In my own world. And take a moment to finish up that thought and then ease your eyes open and write those two thoughts down <clears throat> on a piece of paper. Write those thoughts down. <clears throat> and keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open, but see if you can stay in kind of that meditative state. I mean, isn't that wonderful to be in that meditative state where you are just so in touch with everything going on inside you and that reflects your awareness of what's outside you? What a precious moment this is, what a precious day this is, what a precious place we live, precious people we get to share our life with. Oh, aren't we blessed? Aren't we blessed?
Hey, thank you so much, everybody. What a great way to start 2021, huh? What a great way to start. One of my goals that I wrote down um, I, is to uh, figure a way, maybe I'll work with Hardy on this, figure a way to use Zoom more effectively for inner communication. One of the things that I said was important is we were not getting interaction among people. We just get people listening and, and there's so many stories and there's so many insights and how do we do that? And anyway, so much to learn. That's my thinking. That's one of the things I wrote down uh, uh, that comes back. How can I serve my friends better? How can I serve my friends better? So you get more significant. Your time is so precious. Uh, how can you get more out of these get-togethers? Uh, that's my uh, goal for 2021. Uh, and I'm looking at everything from the technology standpoint to the actual mental, spiritual technology. I've studied all these Shugen and Ninja things, but how to bring that into more clarity, more you know, get you, uh, and not so much steeped in uh, Asian stereotypes and so forth. So uh, that's what I'm planning for 2021. I hope you'll be there with me. Hardy, thank you so much for arranging this. I had a ball. Uh, this was uh, a very meaningful first day of 2021. I think it's going to be a significant year for all of us.